You've heard something new is coming from Kling and it's here, Kling 01, images and video. Welcome, my name is Rosh, the co-host of the Creative AI Show, where we are two creative guys talking AI. And in this video, we're talking Kling with their new O1 model, both image and video. We'll discuss what it's good at and maybe where it needs some improvement. To find the O1 models, just go down the left-hand column and click on Kling O1. And here you'll find Kling's new multimodal model. And that's an important part. It's, it is an upgrade in terms of where Kling was with 2.5 Turbo. It does do a better job with some of the physics and elements, but it has a way to go, as we'll see, compared to some of the other models like VO3.1. However, being a multimodal model, there's a lot of flexibility. For example, one thing you can do is upload an image or a number of images and video and bring them together and Kling will give them an ID such as image one. And in this case, I had a man in a blue suit talk to image one and then she walks away. Well, there's no man in a blue suit in the original video, but this is an extension of the video adding before the original video starts. And this is what it looks like. And it looks good. Now there's no sound yet, but we hear that sound is coming and we'll see how good it is. But overall, it looks really good in terms of video and the physics and the details. And that's one thing that I find that this is better than previous Kling 2.5 Turbo. It is all the details in the background and within the scene. Let's look at some more. Kling has been solid for a while at combining different elements. They had one of the first really good try-on systems. You can still find that right here. But if you wanna add elements and start with a specific image, you can do so. But first, let's, let's work with a few general images and compare them to Nano Banana, and then we'll get into some of the videos and see how well it holds up there. In the O1 section, you have that option right here either create an image or a video. And you're going to probably need to create images along the way. So it's good to have it all in one place and you can pull from your library when you create videos. Here's image 01. You have your aspect ratios. You can go with 1K or 2K and then the number of outputs that you want up to nine. Here's a difficult prompt that I wanna to compare to Nano Banana specifically, so we can have a sense of how strong their imagery is as it relates to many of the stronger models that are out there and known. So this is a painter sitting at an easel, pause to read. And this is what we got. And it's supposed to be frame within frame, but you can see it goes back and forth, back and forth. It, that's actually rather creative and it is heading the right direction. Let me show you what Nano Banana created. And this is what we got from Nano Banana, which was also very good. Flux 2 is another one that I used this prompt with. I'll show that to you also. And this is what Flux 2 did. So it, it's almost on par. I do think Nano Banana is a little bit better, but Kling was doing a good job in comparison with some of the other prompts. Let me show you. This is one from Imagine Art that I thought was really good and probably one of the best because it actually did what we asked and that was to put them along a cliff. And others had done a good job. Nano Banana did a good job with this raincoat making it look weathered while others were making it look brand new. But I was really impressed that it was actually on a cliff. And I have to say Kling did the same thing following the instructions. And here's another version that I thought was also very good too. Here's another prompt, a robot sitting at a kitchen table. And what this does is test the clock and the full glass uh, challenge that we've had with the AIs. And one has gotten closer and that is Nano Banana. I'll show that to you in a second. But I had to test it with Kling 01 just to see where it is. Is it getting better for these tougher prompts? 
And the other ones all said 1010 when it came to the clock. At least Nano Banana got the hour right, but as I've tested it, it's never always got the minute hand correct. But everyone else is 1010 because that's what the AIs have been trained on. And getting a full, full glass of orange juice, that's also been very tough too. And this is about as high as I've seen. This is what Kling did. And as you can see, as expected, it's the 1010 and it's not a full glass of orange juice. I created two of them. Let me show the other. And this is the other one. Again, the clock is not, it's actually a little off with the big and little hand there. It's, it's actually reversed and our orange juice is not filled to the top. So now we know we have a good new model from Kling in terms of imagery. It's not passing the tough, tough physics tests, but it is creating nice images probably is going to be great for most of the things you want to create and uh, develop in terms of creating a new video, creating models for videos, creating scenes for videos. But again, we haven't actually gotten into the area that Kling has really started to develop with their multimodal model. So let's dive into that. So rather than generate image, we will do generate video. But before I start pulling different elements together, Let's actually work with some of the tough prompts just to see where, again, it stands in the overall challenges. So my first challenge, it's a Rube Goldberg contraption. And what these are, generally they were created in cartoons and so forth, but people actually make them and it's a lot of fun. It's an engineering physics kind of a contraption and it's usually maybe a marble going through a, phase to phase and it, it really is challenging the AIs and, and nobody has done a good job yet. So what you see here is not so bad considering how hard this is to do. And we're going to do one with five parts using blue marbles and a race car. Let's see what happens. Honestly, I mean, I know this doesn't look like it's very good with physics, but it's actually really good in comparison. This is so tough. And if you go back and check out some of our other videos that we've created, I know Brian created a video recently. It's the one where he broke all of the AIs. If you look for that one, that's where he did some. I've done some challenging the various uh, AIs. So this is a contender. This honestly is a contender, despite the fact it really is not fully functional as we would expect when they finally get to where we want these AIs to go. Let me do another one. This is a prompt that I've used a few times. Pause to read. It's a anti-gravity cafe video. And well, let's see how it did. Well, they are buckled in and we have things floating around. There, there have been some that have been better, but one thing that it definitely failed on. Well, can you read? <laughs> can you read that? Not at all. Uh, the uh, text, completely wrong, where others had no problem at all simply saying today's specials. And it didn't work. But now let's bring in some other elements and have some fun. We can bring in a main image, a main video, and add elements to that image or video. So you can select images or videos, from your computer, or you can select from your current history if you've been using Kling. Let's upload a video first. So I have five videos in here. Let's see, we have that, that will be fun. This, this, oh, it's the same. Let's start, let's start here, and then let's add some elements. Upload. So we can say at video, which is the video, the first video, uh, turns and looks at the camera. And then, oh, well, it looks like it's not letting me upload. Oh, no, it's not. It's only letting me upload. Uh, well, let's use some of our older uploads. Let's add this hat. Type in the name of the subject, red hat, or whatever you wish to call it. You have up to 20 characters. So I made some adjustments. I uh, had it do the auto, in other words, look at what this is. 
And I, I got to tell you, this is honestly becoming more complicated than it needs to be. So this is an element. I'm going to go back, confirm. Okay. So element image video. Okay, let's try this. Upload an image. Okay. So this is element maybe image reference specific, and you can only use elements from your library or the pre-made elements that they already have. So these are all available to you, which there is quite a selection. But let's add something. So image one looks at the camera and holds up the left version of the items in image one. And let's add something else. Again, I'm going to upload and image two hands video. Okay, so this is a lot going on. So what do we have? Auto, let's see. Let's the output, let's do two. And duration, we have five seconds. Professional, okay. Let's generate and see what happens. So to recap on this, if you want to add your own images, you have to use add image video. If you want to use elements, that comes from your history or the pre-made, the presets available from Kling. And they're more of a reference element. At least that's what I can tell. And here they are being generated. And these are faster. Traditionally, Kling was often five, six minutes. And these have been one to three minutes, depending on the type of image that you're creating. Uh, many of these straight up videos have been one to two minutes. Okay, we have two versions. Let's look at the first one. So she's looking at the camera. She was, she was looking away from the camera, but our, our stub, Starbucks trophy cup thing is there, but we never got the other element in. Maybe we needed a longer period of time. Let, let's see what the other one does. Okay, so here we are and, oh, the sword just kind of comes out of nowhere. So image two never really makes an appearance here. Let's try another one. Upload video. Let's try, no, let, let's start with a scene. We'll work with this scene here. And we'll just, we'll create a, grab our video. Grab another image. Let's grab another image. So we have three images, one video. So we have, so image one is this background. At video one is connected to the robot B. Is the robot B. And image three is the girl. The girl and B are walking. Okay, image one is the background. Video one is connected to robot B. And image two is the robot B. Image three is the girl. The girl and the B are walking down the space station hallway. Okay, or a corridor, whatever we want. Let's see how well this holds together. And here it goes. Here we are. It's not really what I wanted. I really wanted them walking towards us. And again, we don't have, well, not again, but we don't have the other element. Let, let's have them walk the other way. Let's try again so we can see their, the front side and see if we can't get that other element in the shot. So to do this, just click on Edit. 
and it'll come down right here. And let's see, image one is the background is connected to the robot B hovering. Image three is the girl, the girl and the B ward the camera. So a few adjustments in here. Uh, I, I made the uh, hovering video one a little clearer. Also that it was a part of the, them walking down the hallway and now we're walking towards the camera. And let's see here. We're gonna go seven seconds to give it a little bit more time. Here we go. Here they are, and they are wa walking towards us, and the f her physics are okay walking, but the bee, not at all. And that, that video element is just not there. So we know the video will play because the last one we did had a video as the key element. After this and other experiments with Kling 01, yes, it is an upgrade for Kling. As far as better than some of the other new Nano Bananas, Flux 2, uh, even Image Art 1.5, I mean, maybe Image Art 1.5 and Kling are about the same. I mean, because they start to break down in some of the more advanced areas, but are good, basic straightforward, well done AI image generators that you can use most of the time unless you have a really complex prompt. The videos still having issues there, but again, it's the multimodal element that they're creating a new foundation on and we will see how this develops over time. Will the release sound soon? We'll find that out, I'm sure in the near future. And so, Yes, Kling is still solid. Is it the king of them all as it was for a long time? Ah, slightly slipping, but again, it's a new model. And I would give Kling a little bit of time and a little bit of leeway to really pull this all together because Kling has been a solid player for a long time. I expect him to continue to be so. Hey, if you wanna hear more about AI for the creative, check into the Creative AI Show where we are two creative guys Talking AI every Monday on this YouTube channel, as well as your favorite podcast location. I'll see you in the next video.